what is retina it is the innermost coat it is the innermost coat of the eyeball so if you remember there were three coats of the eyeball we were having the fibrous coat the vascular coat and the nervous coat nervous coat was the innermost and that contains the retina and optic nerve all right now if you look at the extent of this retina the extent is from the ora serrata it is extending from the ora serrata to the optic disc margin now you have to understand what is this ora serrata ora means origin and serrata means uneven so there is actually a uneven margin from where the retina starts and it is going up to the optic disc so when you look at the retina how does it looks like this is a normal fundus first of all you have to understand what do you mean by fundus so when you see the retina from the distance from a ophthalmoscope whether it is direct ophthalmoscope or it is indirect ophthalmoscope what view you are going to get that is called as a fundus and you always get a reddish reflex this is called as a red glow this red glow is also called as fundal glow okay so this is red reflex that you are going to get and why we get this this red reflex or the red glow is due to the corio capillaries now this is important to understand that this is due to the corio capillaries that means if there is something in the vitreous cavity which is obstructing the view and you are not able to see the corio capillaries you will have absence of the fundal glow so this concept we are going to use when we will study about the vitreous hemorrhage now if you look at the eyeball this was the cornea right and then we have the iris this will be the iris then we have the ciliary body and then we are going with the back portion okay something like this and then we have the sclera so this was the basic structure of the eyeball that you have already studied okay now what happens at the junction of these two at the junction of these two we have a uneven margin so it is called as ora serrata because the origin is uneven and then it is going backward now you know that there are 10 layers in the retina okay now these 10 layers are going backward and out of these 10 layers only one layer will continue to form the optic nerve so the front portion here this one will form the optic disc okay this is the optic disc and this will be the ora serrata and in between the two we will have the retina this is the idea now you can uh, color this portion as yellow because it is optic nerve it is myelinated all right and you have to see that where uh, where we uh, have the exit of the optic nerve through the sclera now how many fibers one optic nerve contains this is your related anatomy and physiology we have 1.2 million axons we have 1.2 million axons in one optic nerve so that means optic nerve will pierce the sclera and make 1.2 million holes or 1.2 million pores so this portion of the sclera through which this optic nerve is coming out will be called as lamina cribrosa this will be called as lamina cribrosa lamina means layer cribrosa means we will have cribriform appearance we will have sieve like appearance through which the optic nerve fibers are coming out so i hope now the extent of optic nerve and the concept of lamina cribrosa is very very clear